As a mum of four with no dryer, today I am sharing with you my three simple ways that I'm staying on top of my laundry. So if this sounds interesting to you, stay tuned, give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell to get notified for our uploads every Monday and Thursday, and let's get into it. If this is our first time meeting, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Beck, and I am a mum of four, so we're a family of six, and I've had to figure out ways to stay on top of laundry, otherwise it can become extremely overwhelming. And today I'm sharing three simple ways that you can do it if you stick to it and allow it to become a part of your routine. The first thing I recommend is get into a routine of washing every single day. Whether you feel like it or not, it is really the only way that I can stay on top of washing and every day I can fill a load. And I'm even to the point where I should probably upgrade my washing machine just because there are so many of us. And especially during winter time, having all the kids and just them going through more than one set of clothing a day, I have a full load. So washing every single day is tip number one. Our routine in the Rashidi household is one of the girls' chores is to do a washing run at nighttime before bed. They go around and pick up the clothes from Phineas' room and their room. I'll get the clothes for Edmund, Michael and myself and it goes straight into the washing machine. We're not putting it into baskets at this stage, it just goes straight into it. Eventually I will teach the girls how to put a load on, probably a mirror more so than Zoe. But we are just making sure that we're part of that family unit and everybody is giving a hand. We will then put the load on after dinner and then it will be ready to hang out around probably eight or nine o'clock at night, which isn't too bad. And we are in such a daily routine that there was even a night that I panicked thinking I hadn't put the load on yet and it was nine o'clock at night. And Michael's like, no, you have, absolutely. I remember you putting it on, but because it had already finished the wash, it wasn't making any noise and I came in and it was finished. So if you get into that automatic routine where you're not even having to think about it because you're on autopilot, it really does help. One thing that is super vital for us in our household is one of these movable clotheslines. On days where it is cold or rainy and we can't dry it outside, then we dry it inside. It goes under the aircon on the heater setting and it will generally dry overnight, but on days like today where it's blue skies and it's sunny, we bring it outside, the clothes get some fresh air, they get some sun and they're good to go. The other thing that I highly recommend is getting a shirt hanger. This is a game changer, especially for business tops. Once you've done your load, you put your shirt on top of the hanger, put it outside and it dries on the hanger and then you just put it into the wardrobe and there's no middleman of needing to iron it because it has dried crinkle free. The second step is to get into a folding routine and we have found a really good one that works for our family. So once we have put the load on around seven or eight o'clock at night, we will use the duration that it takes to wash that load to take down the existing one that is currently being hung up. So we'll bring that washing line in or it'll be inside already. We will fold it and put it into baskets. So these boxes are just from Kmart. They cost us $4 each and we have one for each of the kids and then it goes into one of our shelving units. So it's out of sight, it's really neat and really tidy. And we will fold the clothes and put it in for each kid as we are going and then Michael and myself have a washing basket. So we don't have a box, we just are using the baskets because we will put ours away straight away. But sometimes with the kids, especially the little boys who aren't able to put their own clothes away, it can take maybe a day or two to put their clothes away where the girls are in a really good routine, which leads me to my third and final tip. And that is to put your washing away straight away. I feel like the biggest thing that makes our loads just pile up is the fact that we say that we'll get to it later. So getting into these routines of washing, folding and packing away pretty much step by step and straight away means that you're not gonna have things lying around. You're not gonna be building up a pile of unfolded clothes or clothes that are folded but are now getting scrunched and messy and just 
All the things that we all know can happen when washing gets overwhelming to us. So the girls, as part of their morning routine and their chores for the week, they have to put their clothes away. If they would like to earn some extra pocket money, they can help by putting the little boys' clothes away. And Michael and I obviously put our own clothes away in the morning. So we're all in that routine of putting it away in the morning. Anything that's on a clothes hanger generally gets hung up in a door frame and then that gets put away straight away as well. I've really found that this three-step process has helped us as a family of six to stay on top of everything and it really is running like clockwork now. It took us a while to get into the routine and there were definitely a couple of my nights and there still are where I begrudgingly put a load of washing on and I don't really want to do it but I know that if I don't do it that night I'm gonna have to do two loads the following day and right now our weather is being so temperamental and I could have like a week worth of rain so it's really just I have to keep on top of it which can be quite challenging. I recommend if you are in a larger family, getting the bigger kids to help you out is something that's a bit of a saving grace for us. If I didn't have the girls putting away their own laundry, it would become quite overwhelming. And even their willingness to help me out with the younger guys and putting their clothes away is really helpful. On sunny days, I also like to do extra loads, whether that be sheets or towels or anything that was soaking so it can get some sunlight. And that's the best thing about having a movable line is on days where it's rainy or it's too cold and it's not gonna dry outside, I can have it inside to keep dry. But on sunny days where I wanted to get some fresh air and some sunlight, I can move it outside and we have found it so helpful. Those are my three tips to staying on top of your laundry as a busy mom. If you have found it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up because it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell to get notified when we upload every Monday and Thursday because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book, we only have each other. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.